Welcome to Insider News Proper. When farmers are beginning to go back to farm for this year's farming season, a particular farmer is harvesting new yams for 2024 farming season. Reverend Father Philip Okoye, a renowned yam farmer from Ibuku and the parish priest of Holy Family Catholic Church, Akbo, both in Aguata local government area, introduced planting of new yams two times a year as he started harvesting his first set of new yams on the 30th of April. Ngozo Bileri of Insider News witnessed the harvesting of the first new yam of the year in our reports. In previous years, Reverend Father Okoye cultivates yam in large quantities from January and harvests in July and August. But this year, he introduced a new timetable which is planting in November of the previous year and harvest in April, then plant again in April to harvest in November this year. At the farm during the harvest, with the help of someone, Reverend Father Okoye harvested big tubers of yams as usual. So, yes, I did. I don't know. I not on how he was able to achieve it. He said he used filoco method where he used foul droppings as the manure which must be placed some yards away from where the yams were planted for a better yield. I realized that it is very possible for one to produce yams from the same farm twice per year. And that's why I had to plant the first seed in November. And those are the ones I'm harvesting now after my college six months and now after harvesting i was i saw another one in the same uh, spot call it a uh, pit call it a uh, mound the same the same the same place and those ones i'm saying now will be harvested in november or thereabout so making it uh, twice per year mm. well, I, I, I devised a special method yeah you, if you look around you can you can see for yourselves it's a filoco method the filoco method of yam production <laughs> that, that's the method because i realized that farm i mean yam roots uh, usually make horizontal movements so they don't get deep into the soil instead they go uh, sideways and that's when i began to think of using this method whereby the yam planted here uh, with the roots moving uh, in a, a lateral uh, direction or horizontal direction. They can even reach to that uh, uh, travel up to about four meters. And of course, as they travel, they uh, have access to the soil nutrients and uh, all that. And that makes makes make, makes the uh, the Stem. production of uh, uh, um, tendrils and uh, healthy leaves possible. Of course, when you have healthy leaves, the rate of photosynthesis is higher. And that, that impacts on the, pro, on the produce itself. Reverend Fadul Koye added that he used irrigation system to achieve the desired result. I bought water from, uh, from the tank as these people that sell the water and, and applied uh, once in, November, in December, twice in January, uh, twice in February and then thrice in March. And that was it. While happening on the need for government to equip farmers to engage in all year round farming system, Farakoya said it will not only ensure food sufficiency but to promote exports as according to him there is enough manpower to drive the move. Uh, the government has a lot of role to play towards uh, motivating farmers in the first place and then also uh, uh, mobilizing them giving them maybe farm inputs or impl implements and uh, to realize this um, production of yams twice per year uh, the government also has to think about providing irrigation scheme for farmers 
so in some it boils down to the government being interested in food production being, uh, yeah when maybe our governor is uh, is trying but i believe a lot of things needs to be done in that direction see it's, it's something that is very simple people can the government could uh, could help farmers realize fund if that is possible but if they make the environment uh, or provide the condition some of them have can pro provide themselves with um, little little uh, yam seedlings they can they can plant there is a city uh, uh, called Socorro in that city the rain falls only about five times a year there are there, there are farmers there and these farmers are able to produce enough food for the entire city it's because the government is involved the only government provides the irrigation scheme for them to, to carry on so that's that's the kind of thing the government can do well organizing competitions uh, uh, sponsoring the competitions is also part of it if the government if a government is able to do uh, that much i think uh, we'll be able to feed ourselves in the first place feed ourselves and, and even have enough for export we have the manpower we have the the resources it's about utilizing them insider news also gathered that fadokoya's philoco method of farming has trickled down parts of the community as he has been training a lot of youths and adults on how best to get better yields. The first thing I do wherever I find myself is uh, gathering people, especially the young, uh, the younger ones, teaching them, showing them what I do. Yeah, because they are, at first there is always a, a, a marvel when they see the 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 young, uh, the produce. Yes, most of them marvel, uh, thinking that is is something that is produced in the, in the moon. But when I bring them closer, to get them and I begin to teach them, show them even by uh, pra uh, by practice, uh, like the outer servers and uh, even the the, the yes. adults, I gather them and teach them. Now in this community, yeah, a good number of them are already doing it, and are getting similar results. In fact, in fact, the person that uh, took the first position last time in this community it was uh, one of one of the people I I, I schooled into it, and and he is now planning uh, uh, to go for the local government competition. Okay. Yeah, yesterday he was telling me that he will go and register because they, our local government we, uh, announced that they would do the competition. yam competition this year for okay. the first time. Okay. So he's and I'm sure he will win. Are you not going yeah. to register? Well, uh, my going there will just be to uh, grab the grab the money, the, the prize. prize, and come back. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, sometimes I decide to allow the allow allow the people to. to uh, it's a way of encouraging them to. I did it, you know, but I do. After coming first for three consecutive years, uh, I decided to step aside. And step aside. The the person I thought. I, I eventually went and won, and he was happy that he came first. He began to answer DJ. Also, what of note is the fact that the yams, no matter how plenty, would be shared among the less privileged members of his parish and the community in general. It can now be seen that it is possible to plant yams twice a year, that is, having harvest two times in a year. And with this, there will be surplus food for people and the populace. It is now left for the farmers to start, show the interest, make the first step that you are interested in doing it. Then government on its part has a lot to do to make this work. From Abu, I am Ngozi Obileri for ABS Insider News.